Okay, real talk. We've all been there, scrolling Instagram late at night, pretending that we're going to check just one more post. But apparently these little things can help save your sleep. Let's see if they're the real deal. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm traveling the world at the moment, and most of the places I stay have the brightest lights known to mankind. You know the kind of lights you find in a hospital waiting room at 3 a.m.? Hostels are just not designed with your circadian rhythm in mind. And that's where these little guys come in. And they even make me feel a little bit like John Lennon. They're way better than those square dorky ones I see online. I mean, you want to protect your sleep, but you don't want to look like you're hacking into the matrix. But let's get nerdy for a second. Blue light messes with your melatonin. Basically, it tells your brain, hey, it's daytime, it's time to party. And your sleep hormone's like, nah, not tonight. Blue light from screens is basically like the light that you get in the sun, in the sky, especially in the 460 to 480 nanometers wavelength. And it disrupts your circadian rhythm by suppressing the melatonin secretion. It's like telling your brain, hey, the sun's still out. Don't secrete any melatonin. It's not time to sleep. So when I'm at home, I can control the lighting. Dim lamps, fairy lights, warm candles, real cozy vibes. But on the road, it's either wear these or sit in complete darkness, like I'm hiding from a villain in a horror movie. Now don't get me wrong, these glasses are cool, but they're not magic. They're not gonna turn your three hour TikTok binge into best night's sleep ever. And I did do a little digging into the science, you know, doctor stuff. And studies have shown mixed results from using blue light blocking glasses. Some studies show an improvement in sleep quality whilst others don't. Which is funny because we know blue light suppresses melatonin secretion. So you'd think that blocking blue light with glasses would prevent that melatonin suppression. But a lot of the studies contradict each other, which is quite annoying. So if you're expecting to wear these and scroll on Instagram until 2 a.m., think again. You're still gonna wake up feeling like a zombie. I'm sorry, but you still gotta put down the phone. Okay, quick tips. Glasses are just one piece of the puzzle. It's just so noisy. I'm so sorry about the traffic noise. For some reason, our hostel is literally on the busiest street in the world. You still need to turn your screens off 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Create a chill environment, cozy. Turn down those lights if you can. And maybe start watching YouTube in bed. But make sure you subscribe first. Using the glasses in combination of all these things tends to yield better results. And of course, the other usual things like avoiding alcohol, avoiding caffeine, and basically anything too stimulating that's going to keep you awake. Also, I had to get my fiance a pair because she keeps stealing mine. Yoink! It's either that, or we get into nightly arm wrestling matches and who gets aware that marriage is about compromise, but not when it comes to blue light blocking glasses. And unfortunately, not all blue light blocking glasses are created equally. Some block a little blue light and some block more. I got these ones from Bond Charge because I can trust they can block the blue light that I want them to. And they look cool enough that it looks like I'm going to a festival rather than being another internet dork. Sorry, Ali, I love you really. And if you're interested, check out the link below. At the end of the day, sleep is all about balance. Glasses help, but you've got to do the other stuff too. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these or if you've got any other sleep hacks for me to try. Be creative because I've tried a lot of sleep hacks. All right, I'm off to bed now. Unless I end up watching one more episode of Narcos because I'm in Colombia. I'll see you next week. Keep training, keep living. Peace.